Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Brog. I'm your host, Adam Josh, and we're at episode 75. Thanks for tuning in, and today I want to talk a little bit about bitterness. I know a lot of bitter people, and I bet you do too. People who um, who just can't seem to shake things or get over get over certain things, and maybe somewhere psychologically they think that continually repeating or going through the same problems or going through the same drama, constantly working through it, uh, will get them to a place where they've overcome it. And there's some people also that seem to enjoy drama, going through the same drama over and over again. Some people like you or me might not actually enjoy uh, constant drama and try to and try to overcome things and move past things and really really move past things and not just in word but in deed only. Um... <clears throat> But I wanted to talk today about bitterness. And this is a lesson that's been given to me uh, by revelation, I suppose, by my own understanding, by figuring it out from higher planes. <clears throat> but where is bitterness? I mean, is it out there? Is it here? Is it in this cup? Where is the bitterness? When you're bitter, where is that? You know, when you watch somebody talk about their old uh, bandmates or they, they talk about their ex-wife or whatever, where is that bitterness? The event itself, where is that event? I mean, bitterness, if you don't understand uh, or you're not following my logic here, bitterness isn't anywhere out there. Bitterness is inside of you. You know what I mean? So, <coughs> pardon me. Bitterness is in your heart. It's not in the, the thing that happened. I mean, it's not even... Say the event was your parents getting divorced and you're bitter about that, about your spoiled childhood and the childhood that you lost and all that. Where is that event? I mean, my parents got divorced. Uh, where is that event, though? I mean, that, that event is so... Is, is, is not here. <clears throat> we would have to rotate the Earth backwards backwards around the planets and all move it all back to where that event happened way back there I mean a simple okay say like say this is the Sun the center of the pine cone we're one of these planets we're following the Sun like this on a path through the universe right so, to actually go back in time to where that event happened, we would have to move the entire planet backwards, in one sense. Um, so, that, that happened way back there, on this cosmic spaceship that we're on. That happened far back, my parents getting divorced. So, to be bitter about it, or angry about it, where is that bitterness? That bitterness is nowhere here, it's nowhere around me, it's nowhere... It's not in the rag. It's it's not in my eyeball. It's not in my hand. It's in my heart. It's in my memory. It's in me. So the reason that it's not profitable to be bitter about anything, anything, is because the same reason that it's not profitable for you to be angry all the time. Do you know people who are angry all the time? So do I. I know lots of people who go around, ah, ah. Tim Hortons didn't get my order right. Ah! This rag is dirty. Ah! Ah! Spot on my jeans. Ah! Ah! They're angry all the time. Wake up and the first words out of your mouth are curse words. Damn it! Ah! And what's funny about those people is that they attract, seem to always be angry, and they always seem to attract horrible situations. Your anger not only is unhealthy, I mean, and medical science has proven that anger and bitterness aren't healthy for you to carry around in your body because it secretes, uh, your, your constant anger gets your glands working and you secrete 
chemicals by being angry into your own bloodstream that actually are detrimental to your own health. So you'll see that people who are constantly bitter or constantly angry have like back problems or joint problems or are sick all the time. If you can maintain a state of love, or as weird as it may sound, uh, you actually find yourself in a healthier state of mind and state of being in general. It's not rocket science that your overall state of mind affects your health. I know people, and I'm sure you do too, who are sick all the time and they have a lot of personal issues and traumas that they've never worked through. So, I know some pretty big, bitter people. But where is that bitterness? Uh, the bitterness is inside their heart. So the reason that it's not profitable for you to be bitter is because your bitterness is on display to the world. When you're like, oh, these guys, and blah, 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 blah this and that, and, blah, 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 and they left my band, and, and blah, 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 and it's just, ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I keep using the example of a band because I'm thinking about somebody specifically, but, I mean, you know lots of people who are, who are bitter. And I'm not bitter at that person, I'm just saying. I, I watched an interview the other day uh, with somebody and that this uh, sort of came to mind like, you say you're over your bitterness uh, and over that whole stuff that happened in the past, but you're not, you know, this guy isn't. But whatever. Um, bitterness is inside of you. So it doesn't serve you to be bitterness. It doesn't profit you in any case, in any scenario to be bitter because the bitterness isn't out anywhere else. It's in you. So just like it's not profitable for you to be angry all the time because it's bad for you, it's not profitable for you to be in a bitter state all the time because that bitterness is compounding more bitterness and finding reasons to be even more bitter until it consumes you, like fear. It's not profitable for you, profitable for you to be afraid or fearful. What does it serve you to be afraid or to live in fear of things to come or expectations or fears of whatever? Fear begets more fear, you know? So, the hippies were right. Love is the answer. The hippies were right. To stay in a state of love and to uh, create a loving place in your heart if it's not already there, it attracts more love and more loving situations. The root of bitterness <clears throat> lies in your own heart. It's not anywhere else. Like, I've been married. I've been divorced. And those are situations that happened so long ago that it's actually hard for me to remember them. Am I bitter about them? I learned a lot from those situations. And I think, you know, to my ex-wife, you know, good, good on you. You know, if you're happy with whoever you're with now and... And, and all that, then good. That's fine. I am not bitter about it. I can say that with a clear face. It's almost laughable, actually. I feel like uh, it happened really fast, and the whole situation was uh, sort of comical, I suppose. But uh, I'm not bitter. I'm not angry about it. I learned a lot. I learned a lot, and I learned uh, I learned from situations, and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for the whole process and how I was able to uh, deal with it in a way that uh, you know there's there's no, no part of my life that's occupied by um, thoughts of my marriage or divorce until I bring it up in conversations like this that's it was so long ago so I mean that's me right I mean you might have gone through different diff different things I mean I was in counseling a lot growing up because uh, my parents were I was in like Al-Anon type meetings like for alcoholics, Al-Anon uh, meetings for children, and uh, I've had years of counseling and years of um, therapy, you know, to talk out my feelings and all that, which is weird because here I am on the brog still sort of talking, but I'd like to think that I'm helping people somewhere in my mind, and it's also an online journal, I suppose, things I could look back on later, but um, after a lifetime of talking about my feelings and working through things, you know, I don't feel the need to work through them and talk about them anymore. And I'm not bitter about them, you know, bitter about things that have happened to me because I realize that that bitterness isn't anywhere else. I mean, horrible situations happen all the time through other people's faults or through whatever. 
my parents aren't bad people, you know. That I mean, I mean, they each one of them says maybe they the other one shouldn't have had kids or gotten married or whatever. <laughs> But, uh, you know, they're not horrible people, and neither of them are the devil, and I'm sure that if they could have created things differently, they, they uh, would have. But what happened, happened, and I'm not bitter at them. Um, it happened, whatever. And uh, I've learned from that, and you move on. So bitterness is inside of you, you know, inside of your heart. It's not in the situations that happen. Horrible situations can hap happen to you, and two people can look at it this in different ways. One pe person can look at it and be like, oh my god, my entire life is ruined because of X. And another person can say, like, you know, oh well, look at the other person. Look at the other person and how they were, or understand, f you know, forgiving your enemies, or forgiving those who do horrible things to you, because they aren't thinking clearly, they aren't operating properly, you know, in, in mind forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. Bitterness lies in your heart. That's my point. It's not anywhere else. Anywhere else in the world. You, your bitterness is in your heart. And it's not profitable for you to entertain that bitterness and dwell on that bitterness and grow that bitterness because it only affects you. Do you know what I mean? And then you get so bitter that you start acting it out and being an angry person and a, and a mean and an evil person to other people and then you cr and you perpetuate the cycle of bitterness and for what why why do you need this necessity to cling to your victimness this, to cling to your bitterness why do you need to cling to that does it does your victimness define you as a person are you one of those type of people that needs to wear a bracelet that says i'm a victim why? Why do you want people to know that you're a victim? Why do you want people to be sorry for you? Why do you want to, to look like a victim? Your bitterness is only inside of your heart. So, repent. You know, clean out the bitterness of your heart. Move on. St start a whole new, fresh life in your mind, or whatever, whatever you need to do. Go on vacation and say, from here on out, Things are different. If you can't go on a vacation, go on a staycation. Because the bitterness uh, will destroy you ultimately. And uh, through all the situations that I've been through in my life, of things that other people probably uh, would have taken negatively and taken very bitterly, I, I've tried not to be bitter and, and tried to be forgiving for all the things that have happened and move on. Here I am. Nobody can impose on you how you deal with whatever life throws at you. That's up to you. <clears throat> you could fall down and break your leg today, or get hit by a car, or win a million dollars, and the only person that decides how all those things are going to affect you is you. So remove the bitterness from your heart and move on with your life. Bitterness is only doing you a disservice and doing nothing good for your overall sanity and health and it may seem callous as I say that it may seem like I'm coming from a place of I don't understand you and and you you've been through things that I'll never understand and if you want if you need to cling to that bitterness then I mean that's a whole other subject but I've been through things myself and things that I will never tell people on camera but the point is overall I'm not a bitter person and I don't want to be a bitter person and I like to forgive uh, and take the highest road possible to people who have uh, done negative things to me or whatever and I, I want to be a better person and move on spiritually and in my life and all that I don't want to co constantly keep repeating the same things and same mistakes that I've done in the past, and um, I want to move on, you know? Life is about growing. We're moving forward in this progression. We're going forward on planet Earth and moving. Alright, everybody.